Okay, hello everyone! So, sa video na to, ang objective natin ay kung paano kunin ang next three terms ng given sequence. So, ito ay base sa module ng Math 10, Quarter 1, Week 1. So, meron akong inihandang 10 examples kung paano kunin ang next three terms ng sequence. Okay, so let's start. We have number 1. We will going to find the next three terms of 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, ang una-una muna nating titingnan kung ano yung pattern. Okay? So, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, ang pattern natin dito ay nag-a-add tayo ng 1 or nagdadagdag tayo ng isa. Therefore, kung dadagdagan natin yung 7 ng 1, it is equal to 8. So, therefore, ang next term natin ay 8. So, plus 1, 9, plus 1, 10. So, the next three terms of the sequence are 8, 9, 10. Okay, next, let's have number 2. We have 4, 2, 0, negative 2, negative 4. So, ano ang pattern? Okay. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, uh, from positive to negative numbers. So, ibig sabihin, nagbabawas tayo ng numbers or nagsasubtract. So, sa sequence na ito, kung mapapansin ninyo, nagmaminus tayo ng 2. Pero, hindi natin gagamitin yung word na minus or subtract. Instead, gagamitin natin yung add. So, we add negative 2. Okay, kailan tayo mag add negative or add positive? Kung mapapansin ninyo, yung sequence, pagpapataas, mag add tayo ng positive. Pagpababa, mag add tayo ng negative. Okay, so dito sa example na ito, pababa yung sequence, therefore mag add tayo ng negative, which is negative 2 ang pattern. So check natin, 4 plus negative 2 equals positive 2. Then, 2 plus negative 2 equals 0. Okay, next, 0 plus negative 2 equals negative 2. Next, we have negative 2 plus negative 2 equals negative 4. Okay? Same sign, therefore, we add and copy the common sign, which is negative. And that is the next sequence. Now, to get the next sequence, okay, so we have the negative 4 plus the pattern, which is negative 2 equals Negative 6. Therefore, negative 6 is the next term. Next, we have negative 6 plus negative 2. Okay, same sign. So, we add 6 plus 2 equals 8 and then copy the sign which is negative. So, we have negative 8. Next, negative 8 plus negative 2 equals 8 plus 2 is 10. Then, copy the common sign negative. So, we have negative 10. So, therefore, the next three terms of the sequence are negative 6, negative 8, and negative 10. Okay, now let's have number 3. So, the number 3 sequence is 120, 60, 30. So, ano ang pattern? So, kung isusubtract natin, masyadong pababa ang numbers. So, magta-try tayo ng iba pang pattern. So, 120 divided by 60 is 2. 60 divided by 30 is 2. So, ang pattern is dinidivide natin sa 2. So, instead na i-divide natin sa 2, gagamit tayo ng multiply. So, kukunin natin yung reciprocal ng 2 which is 1 half. So, yun yung gagawitin natin. So, now let's try 120 times 1 half equals. So, kung nagmumultiply tayo ng fraction, minumultiply natin ang numerator sa numerator, denominator sa denominator. Since 120 is whole number, ang denominator ay 1. So, 120 times 1 half is 120 over 2. So, simplify 120 divided by 2. The answer is 60. Next, 60 times 1 half. 60 times 1 half is equal to 60 over 2. Simplify, 60 divided by 2 is 30. And to find the next term, so let's have 30 times the pattern 1 half equals 
30 times 1 half is 30 over 2. Then simplify 30 divided by 2 equals 15. And 15 is the next term. And to find the next term, after 15, we have 15 times 1 half. Is equal to 15 times 1 half is 15 over 2. So, hindi na natin siya masisimplify. So, we have now 15 over 2 is the next term. And to find the next term after 15 over 2, we have 15 over 2 times 1 half equals. So, 15 times 1 is 15. 2 times 2 equals 4. Therefore, the answer is 15 over Four. And now the next term is 15 over 4. So the next three terms of the given sequence are 15, 15 over 2, and 15 over 4. Okay, now let's have number 4. So number 4 sequence is 4, 7, 10, 13, 16. So ano ang pattern? So, kung mapapansin ninyo, papataas ang numbers. At nagdadagdag tayo ng 3 bawat term. So, ang pattern ay add 3. 4 plus 3, 7 plus 3, 10 plus 3, 13 plus 3, 16. Okay, again. So, let's have the first term, 4. And then, add 3 equals 7. And that is the next term. From 7... Plus, the pattern 3 equals 10. Then, we have the next term, 10. Then, 10 plus 3 equals 13. Then, 13 plus 3 equals 16. Therefore, the pattern is 3. Now, from 16 plus 3 equals 19. So, 19 is the next term. Then, 19 plus 3 equals 21. So, the next term is 21. Then, 21 plus 3 equals 24. So, the next term is 24. Therefore, the next three terms of the given sequence are 19, 21, and 24. Okay, now let's have number 5. We have 1 fourth, 1 ninth, 1 sixteenth, 1 twenty fifth. Okay, so ang una-una natin titignan kung ano ang pattern. So, based sa given sequence natin, ang numerator ay 1, which is pare-parehong 1. Ang denominator ay 4, 9, 16, 25, which is, ang denominator natin ay consecutive perfect square. So, examples, we have 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100, 121, 144, and so on. So, again, the definition of a perfect square is a number that is the result of a number multiplied by itself. Therefore, the next term is 1 over 36 and followed by 1 over 49, then 1 over 64. Next, let's have the next example which is number 6 example. We have 2A, 3B, 4C, and 5D. So, now let's observe kung ano yung pattern. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, we have uh, letters and numbers. And ang pattern po natin dito is consecutive numbers o magkakasunod ang numbers and consecutive letters or magkakasunod ang letters. Therefore, 2, 3, 4, 5, then the next number is 6. And A, B, C, D, the next letter is E. Therefore, ang next term is 6E. Next, the next number is 7 and letter is F. And then, the next number is 8, the next letter is G. Okay, so therefore, the next three terms of the given sequence are 6E, 7F, 8G. Next, we have number 7A, A plus B, A plus 2B, 
and a plus 3b. So, the pattern is, okay, kung mapapansin ninyo, yung a is hindi nadadagdagan or hindi nagbabago, while b is nadadagdagan ng isa. So, mag-a-add tayo ng isang b. So, a plus b equals a plus b. Then, a plus b plus the pattern b equals a plus So, dalawa yung B, therefore, we have 2B. So, A plus 2B. Okay, next. A plus 2B plus the pattern B equals A. So, 2B plus B equals 3B. So, now we have A plus 3B plus the pattern B. So, we have A. 3B plus B equals 4. So, therefore, we have A plus 3B plus B is 4B. So, A plus 4B is the next term. Then, A plus 4B, then add B, the pattern B is equal to 4B plus B equals 5B. Therefore, we have A plus 5B. Then, A plus 5B plus the pattern B, then we have 5B plus B is 6. Therefore, A plus 6B is the next term. Therefore, the next three terms of the given sequence are A plus 4B, A plus 5B, and A plus 6B. Then now, we have number 8. So, number 8 sequence is 1, 2, 3, 5, 7. 7. And then next, alamin natin kung ano ang pattern which is, kung mapapansin ninyo, ina-add natin yung dalawang magkatabing mag, or dalawang magkasunod na terms. So, for example, 1 and 2, which is magkasunod, i-add natin, the answer is 3. And then, yung dalawang magkasunod na term na 2 and 3, pag in natin, 2 plus 3 equals 5. And that is the next term, which is 5. Then, magkatabi yung 3 and 5, i-add natin yung dalawang magkatabing term. So, 3 plus 5 equals 8. So, that is the next term. And then, add natin yung 5 and 8, which is magkatabi yung term na yun. 5 and 8, 5 plus 8 equals 13. And then, the next term is 13. And then, 8 plus 13 equals 21. And then, 13 plus 21 equals 34. So, therefore, the pattern is adding the two preceding terms. Therefore, the next three terms of the sequence are 13, 21, and 34. Okay, so eting tinatawag na Fibonacci sequence. Okay, so now let's have number 9. Okay, so example number 9 sequence, we have A, A square, A cube, A raised to 4, A raised to 5. Okay, so ang pattern natin dito is nag add 1 tayo sa exponent or nagpa plus 1 tayo. Therefore, a raised to 5 plus 1 exponent, we have A raised to 6 plus 1 exponent, we have A raised to 7 plus 1 exponent, we have A raised to 8. So, the next three terms of the given sequence are A raised to 6, A raised to 7, and A raised to 8. Okay, so next, let's have number 10. We have 3, 6, 12, 24, 48. Ang una natin gagawin is aalamin kung ano ang pattern. Since sa given sequence natin ay papataas ang numbers or ang terms, ang gagawin natin is either mag add tayo ng numbers or mag-multiply tayo ng numbers. So, we have 3, the first term. So, mag-multiply tayo ng 2. 3 times 2, 6 times 2, 12 times 2, 24 times 2, 48. Okay, so let's try the solution. 3 times 2, which is the pattern, equals 6. And that is the next term. Then, 6 times 2 equals 12. Okay, then 12 times the pattern 2 equals 24. And 24 times the pattern 2 equals 48. Okay, therefore, the next term, 48 times 2 equals 96. And followed by 96 times the pattern 2 equals 192. 
The next term is 192. Then, 192 times the pattern 2 equals 384. So, the next term is 384. Therefore, so the next three terms of the given sequence are 96, 192, and 384. Okay, so that's all for now. So, yan po yung mga 10 examples kung paano kunin ang next three terms ng sequence. Okay, so for more videos, pwede nyo pong i-visit ang channel ko, Matish, and then click nyo po yung playlist doon para sa compilation for grade 9, grade 10, grade 7, and so on. Okay, so that's all for now, and thank you for watching!